here with Kevin Rumley following tonight's action at Bristol Motor Speedway. Kevin, your uh, thoughts on being sent to the back or kind of a timeline of what happened from your side of things? Well, we're over here on the sprint car side because Kyle's doing double duty. Um, you can't hear the horns. We're away from all the other late model guys. They were supposed to take care of us all night. Um, on top of everything, we had a transmission go out in the heat race where we needed a push start. So I texted him and said we needed a push start. Um, the first horn we heard, it was a minute 30 left and a 10 minute call. We were ready. Uh, the guy blowing the horn said, just get the car out here. I'll push it over to stage lane and then we'll get you a push start. Casey Schumann came down here and said, you got 60 seconds. Just get it out here in the middle and we'll get a push truck and, and everything will be okay. So we get the push truck here. The push truck driver was confused and was going to push about on the racetrack. We stopped him and had him to go over here. And then Casey said we were late. So um, from my point of view, um, we were misled and deceived by Casey Schumann. And um, not happy about it. I'm glad there's other series that are, that are gaining momentum now. So competitors have options to run other places when, uh, when the management doesn't hold up there in the bargain. How frustrating is that when your driver's willing to pull double duty on a night like this? Yeah, well, I mean, it's people are here to see Kyle Larson. So they want him to continue to show up. The, the officials need to be um, more reasonable in a situation like this and not unreasonable. What's the status for tomorrow? I take it since you're still here, you're working to fix this car and yeah, not get gonna, the new one? Yeah, we're going to race tonight, and then we're going to re reevaluate uh, who we race with in the future.